All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Patriots, Patriot Way franchise. We're playing the Miami Dolphins to uh, lift ourselves out of the basement of our division. It's funny because before we went on our little losing streak that we had. Oh, by the way, we have to, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing here. As you guys saw, Hayward is an X-Factor receiver. I am going to make it so that the X-Factor displays. Uh, and we can actually use the zone ability. And what you have to do for that is you have to go into your roster page. And hopefully Madden will let us go to our roster page. Come on, Madden. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. All right, so we go to the roster page. Oh, he's actually got an upgrade, which I didn't know he had. Let's go. Cool. Could not give me a speed upgrade, could you? All right, so you got to go into your edit player. And then you got to turn him to superstar. And then you got to turn him back to X-Factor. Another quick update for you guys is that our quarterback revealed... To be a superstar. And I, I've got to switch what abilities he has. And all that again I'm sure. Because Madden hates us. Dude look how slow the menus in Madden work now. That is so bad. But anyway. Let's put him back on double me. I already clicked the button. We're just waiting for it to go. I promise. Ah. Uh, Anytime, there we go, Madden. Good job. All right, so, again, quarterback is a superstar. I don't know if he deserves to be a superstar, but he is a superstar. We're going to put uh, probably jukebox and tight out, I think. Yeah, jukebox or tight out, I would guess. Well... I don't know. Do we go tight out or do we go... Let's go with quick draw because he's under pressure a lot. And maybe that will help us. Maybe that will help us. Alright, so let's go, man. Dolphins rematch. We lost the first game. Ain't no shame in this game, man. We lost the first game. We got to get locked back in and do what we got to do the second game. And we'll be watching the Patriots. Sure-handed wide receiver. He had a standout game one week ago. That was probably our best effort at receiver for both guys. Ty Kwan had over 100. He had over 150. And now we're going against the Miami Dolphins and Tyreek Hill and all of these really, really good players. That Miami has. Luckily, we're kicking the ball. Unfortunately, it's raining, which I don't know if you guys remember earlier in the season, we had a rain game, and it was the worst thing that ever happened to us. Why is the entire AFC like 5 and 1 right now? Like, what is happening? The top of the AFC is incredible. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass. To a tackle by low, guys. Normally a very accurate QB. Now. We'll see if he remains such. And of course, Jalen Waddle is going to catch that even though he absolutely got rocked by Tavai. Doesn't matter. But no fear. He delivered an accurate ball. Nice catch. And you never want to see your quarterback getting hit. But it also sends a message to the rest of the team when he's able to take the Oh, shot. man. Ford's got to catch up. Jalen Waddle, touchdown, long foul. Damn. All right, Jalen Waddle is doing his thing, bro. Second reception of the day. That second one was about a 16-6-yarder, give or take. So this is definitely different than how the first game started. We were able to play pretty decent defense against them the first game. And this one, they absolutely destroyed us. So, 
So out come the Patriots here to get fun. their first shot on offense. All right, so this is Russo's first game as a superstar. We knew he had abilities from upgrading him before, so that's always cool. There you see his uh, X Factor is being shown now. That's always good. Breaking a tackle. Great job by Weston to get us going. Obviously, in the rain, we're going to want to be leaning on the ground game. All right, here we go. I don't know what happened there. It's a good throw. Maybe it's just the fact that Taekwon isn't that spectacular of a route runner at this point. Maybe that's what made the misconnection happen there. Great skate arm tackle. This guy is so good. I'm going to try to go across the middle. I, I think Vic will have to match up over the middle here. Oh, we throw a pick. Because everyone on their defense who was supposed to go to the right side got hung up on each other. And I was 100% not expecting that. So I anticipated that at least one of those guys would move out of that spot that they were trying to. They got hung up on each other, however. Good job by our defense and not let that get too far stretched outside. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna play a game and not throw a pick with this rookie quarterback, guys. I don't think it's gonna happen. But I think we better get strapped in for a tough season. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think it's gonna be a hard season to to stomach. But we're gonna. I've decided that I'm sticking with this kid. I think he can be the best uh, quarterback in the league at some point once he gets abilities. He already has superstar, and as long as he can throw. Enough touchdowns to mean that he won't regress. Then we should be okay. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He's got to catch that or pull that. Bro, that should have been a pick six. Hell, that should have been a pick 14. Could have ran for two touchdowns on that. Damn it. Good defense, though. They get the stop. They get the field goal. 10 nothing. Okay, run the ball a bit. Run the ball. Stop relying on the pass game. Just run the ball. Get your points. Do your job. Let's do this. We gotta be willing to do what's necessary and not be overly cautious. But, you know, be cautious and not so we're not throwing the game away. The Dolphins Stadium is rocking here. I want to slide and I can't. Good run. By Russo, this move is really gonna be helpful for him. On first and ten, Russo. Good blocking, good blocking. Powerful run after he grabbed. Great job by Russo to get the ball out in the running back's hands. And a good job by Weston to take it from there. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because... All right, so I think that interception was definitely my fault. I think so should not be blamed there, but... Oh, I think he was getting ready to break that tackle, guys. I think he was getting ready to break that tackle. Got hit by the secondary guy there. This is a team that we can run on. I don't really feel like this team is going to be tough to run against. Pay attention to where Ramsey goes. Is it man? It's not man. Going to get outside the pocket. We're going to toss it to the end zone and it's a touchdown. What a throw. You know, I decided, look, we got a stat with our running back. He's the, he's the best player on our team this season so far. 
Let's give him a shot down the field. He's against the linebacker. And he just made the catch. You know what I mean? Like, and it was just a great throw as well. But we made the catch. That's the important part of that. I did not think that was going to be a catchable ball for Weston. I mean, he's not a very good route runner or receiving back, I don't believe. But he definitely gets the job done right there on that running back wheel. Whew. What a play. All right, so the deal right now is that we need to stop on defense. If we can get one of those, we'll be in business. Obviously, this is a bit risky, as you know what type of talent they have on the outside, but it's first down. Great job by Middlebrook, knifing in. We need it, guys. We need it. We absolutely need it. Great job. Now we're going to sit back and play cover three. Got our linebackers in it. We got two tight ends. So we want to make sure, in case it's a run, we're in position. I don't, I don't think they're ever going to drop the ball. I don't think the, the hits matter. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive corner. Oh my god. Uh Devin E. Chain gets a ginormous hold and runs it all the way for a touchdown. This is a track meet of the game. This is a track meet of the game. This is playing right into the Dolphins' hands. You know, they want to play an up-and-down, fast type of game, and we're pretty much playing in their hands right now. So, I think this is where we got to try to slow the game down. A 24-point first quarter is only going to help the Dolphins. You know, we need to make sure that their offense doesn't get as many possessions as they've had. They're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far I feel like that should have been a catch, but it gets knocked out. I hate when it hits the receiver's hand and we don't come up with it. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a negative play if that happens. I know they have the ability to knock the ball out of our hands. Even without KOs, they have it. It's going to be the way it is. Good job right there by Weston. Almost 10 yards of carry for the rookie running back here. You know, it's, it's funny. There's a running back in the draft that I have been scouting. And I'll show you guys that as we get closer to the draft. And I'm torn because I know that the guy is going to be elite. I have a strong suspicion that that running back is going to be like best player in the draft type, type guy, right? Weston is a low overall, and it depends on what he does dev-wise this year as to whether or not I can guarantee his spot next year. But it is really hard as he runs for a nine and a half yard gain right there. It's really hard to say that we're gonna replace a guy who's been so good for us this season. But it's like, that is the Patriot way, is it not? Oh my God! A diving touchdown grab for Robert Hayward. Wow. I want you guys to see this one more time. Watch the layout right there. I mean, he's fully extended for that grab. Unbelievable play. That is a tremendous ball. And we started upgrading his strong arm. We got another throw power. We got another uh, deep accuracy. And you know what? Maybe we utilize that right there. Maybe that one point is what we needed to start making those throws. 
Unbelievable play. Wow. <clears throat> All right, Dolphins, again. I know I said I wanted to run the ball and take clock down and all this other great stuff, but if you got single high and you're able to get the ball out to a, a receiver down the field, you've got to take it, right? You can't just hold the ball. It's a good play. Good play by Tua. I tell you what, Tua's played a pretty good game so far. Yeah, he's, st he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple of days ago in the team meetings talking about... It's a good job to slow down each team by Tavai. And I believe that's forward on the stop. We're going to go cover two here. I'm hoping that they don't run it, but I'm going to take Barmore and try to get pressure. It's a zone lead with two a tackle by Loa. What? Of all the things that you could see, would you guys think the Dolphins run a read option? I didn't even know they had that in their playbook. Great play. Great play. Great call. Great everything right there. AJ trying to worm his way through the line. Should have been a short gain or a stop behind the line. And he makes it a five yarder. Great job by him. Again, the coverage that we have to play this game is because we have so much respect for the Dolphins speed down the field. So the underneath stop is going to be there. There's really not much we can do about that. I'm gonna play to buy here and see if we can maybe. And this is Eichain trying to make a play. Three yards there. Not too much going that there for him. If we can keep him out of field goal here, I think that would be a win on this drive for us. As they said it, they're going for a sweep here. Evan Eichain. Amazing. They're giving him what they didn't give him too much in the last beat. They're giving him open running lanes. And with a guy with that much speed, you, 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 you know, it's it's questionable whether or not uh, we can stop that. You know, with him having some some room in the open field to make a move. We're pressuring to it. It's a pick. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, my God. That should have been another pick six. Wow. Horrible, horrible drop right there by Okuda. Tavai makes a great play. He sheds the block and makes the tackle on the screen. That should have been a touchdown. If not for him making that type of play. Great job. Tua sets up to pass it. Oh. Tua comfortable with a field goal here. Okay. I think we did a good job there. I think we get the ball at the half, if I remember correctly. So we have a minute and about 20 seconds to score a touchdown or a field goal. We can see the one of those. That's a win. In my book. One of the things about our team right now is that we're playing Ben but don't break against the Dolphins. And, uh, you know, when you got Waddle who burned us on the opening drive, and you got, you know, obviously the greatest deep threat potentially in the history of football in Tyree Hill, you're going to have to play a different style. And uh, we're not playing underneath. We're playing cover three damn near the entire game. And quite frankly, we have to. Okay, watch the safeties here. Whichever safety moves. Oh, I'm going for it. We got it, baby. Xavier Howard is too slow. At this stage in his career, unfortunately, we scored so damn fast that we gave the Dolphins a chance at it. But we scored a touchdown, they scored a field goal. I did not expect them to abandon. I think they thought we'd run. That's got to be what it is. I think they thought we'd run. But we did not. 
Single high safety, coach calls a deep ball, we connect. I mean, it, it's maybe what he does best at this point. Maybe the short under, underneath stuff, which is normally what I would call for a young quarterback. Is it his deal? A minute to go, and I think the offense is saying, "Hey, all we need here a field goal, and we can take the lead into intermission." So I think that's what the goal should be. Give your kicker a chance to get Great job, by Akuda. Right. We played that right. I slowed him down so that way he'd be in position because what I think Tua tried to do is the same thing that we do with Haywood. We throw it high and and to the outside so that he can jump for it, and obviously. No, 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 he was bobbling. I don't agree with that catch at all. I do not agree with that catch at all, but they're going to give it to him. I believe he was bobbling that ball. And there's no way to challenge it's inside of two, in, uh, two minutes here. From midfield, here's two. Can't rip the ball out. Great job right there. You're still giving him the underneath. You pretty much have to at this point. I'm going to play the flats with the linebacker in the slot corner. And we're going to play the outside guys deep here. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was talking about Christian Gonzalez in the last game. I said that we needed more from him. And he has delivered. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. What an interception. What a run back. It gives us first to 10 on the 18. And we get an immediate touchdown to Tyquan Thornton. What happened? What happened? What switch was flipped in this game? I don't understand it, but I'm grateful for it. We have taken the lead by 8 points, 35 seconds ago. Christian Gonzalez, the man on the cover of the thumbnail, is making his presence felt in this season. What a play by him. As I said, we play the outside guys deep, and we let the inside guys play the flat, and it seems to be working. Good job right there. We, we stop this progress before it gets too far. Again, you guys can have the underneath stuff. There's 32 seconds left. You only got one timeout. I don't care. You're not beating me deep. Yeah, Viloa had to throw it. Middlebrooks was putting elite pressure on him. All that strength that he has. Same coverage, guys. We're playing the same coverage here. And that's a miss by Tua. Hey, hey, look, guys. There's 25 seconds left now. It's 25 seconds left. Probably going to be about 15, maybe 10 or 20 by the time we get the ball back. There's, there's enough time for a deep ball. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. We get it on the 20. There's enough time for a deep ball, and we have timeouts. Let's see what the coach wants to do here. Will he let me throw it? He will not. Honestly, probably the right call. Because a couple of times we've tried that, and it hasn't worked our way. So that might be the right decision. You've really done some damage in an NFL game. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. Oh my god. Weston. Weston we're calling a timeout. Weston breaking tackles. He's capable, guys. He's capable of doing it. He's capable of getting us in field goal range himself. He is a battering ram of a running back around the 45. They're going to let us throw. I'm not throwing a Hail Mary, guys. That's why he never works. But I am going to throw verticals like they want. Single high, but they're in great position for it. Oh, that's a great hit. I do not blame Vic for dropping that. That was a tremendous hit. And we're going to come away with no points there. That's a great uh, attempt, though, as Weston put us in great position to make a play, but I should have, I, you know what I should have did? I should have went double me one-on-one, -on -one, but I thought Vic could get it, get down, and we get the field goal, but I should have trusted it outside. That's what I should have did. 
with double me, you might have a chance of that. Alright, so coaching suggestions back on the plate. And we're going to run the football. Because Weston is starting to heat up. I think that was pretty clear in the last drive before the half there. Oh, he was getting ready to run him over, guys. Why am I why am I going hurry up? I don't know why I just did that. I'm gonna run it again. I mean, not a game, but not a loss either. Okay. I actually like this play a lot. The Taekwon over the middle. Let's see what happens. Taekwon Thornton, baby. Four touchdowns, only one interception for Russo this game. That is a pretty good ratio for him. We can continue to run the ball. And uh, don't look now, guys, but it's starting to come together for us a little bit with the passing game. Big first down run by Weston. So far, no touchdowns for him. This will be the first game that he does not have a touchdown. I think I'll see. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. Eight yards, seven yards, excuse me, by Weston. I think we go play action here. And we try to catch him. That's just a good play by uh, Cater Tulu. I don't, I don't know how you say it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that. But good play by him. Do I do I do I test it again? Over the middle, Taekwon maybe. We got a couple options if we don't decide to go that way. Nope. There's not much to do. Zeebler gets in, and we're at the point where we can't kick the field goal. And punting is stupid. So I'm going to go for it. I mean, I think all of you guys would agree with me. On the 41-yard line in the rain, we're not getting the field goal. Punting it nets us about 20 yards. It's, it's you know. We had it, too. Both come with a great sack. I saw Jaleel Vick cut open, and I went to step up into it. Did not see the defensive line was on us. That's unfortunate. They get it at the 48 after the sack. And Tua is brought down by Barmore, the newly signed Barmore. Christian Barmore, really good defensive tackle. Hopefully, we can get him to be a superstar. That would change the game for us. Finally. Christian Gonzalez is making that play and not letting him escape for a big game. Third and two here. Do we think it's a run? I think we think it's a run here, guys. It is a run. We cannot make the play. Oh, man, what a hit. When we can't make the play and get the first down. I don't know. What are you going to do there? You know what I mean? You got two safeties over the top. I know we're playing cover two. But the safety should be there in case they run something deep. Wow. Big hit right there. Davis. Brings the wood. Alright. 28-20. Shoot, we got here. Second and seven. It's going to be 18 on the carry. And he makes a big time juke, but only a four yard game. Third and three. Obviously, they don't want a field goal. I'm blitzing because I want to get the ball out of Tua's hands before he wants to come out. I'm going to guard the running back here with Tavai. It's complete, but it's complete. Fourth and inches. So they're going to go for a field goal. I don't trust them. So, just so I'm going to go safe, man. I'm not going to try to block it. I want to make sure, down. just in case, we cover everybody here. All right. The and kick is good. Is right Got a five-point lead, guys. 
So they're they're a little bit, I don't want to say a lot, but they're a little bit struggling to get into the end zone. I think that's their second or third field goal of the game. Obviously, they scored on the deep ball the first drive, but uh, they were in the red zone several times and have not gotten a touchdown. Is this the game where Russo decides that he's going to be the elite player that we envisioned him be when we drafted him? But right there, he steps out. Five-yard gain on the scramble. It's a good game. Gets out. Now they want to make it pay off. We're very balanced this game. 14 throws, 13 runs. A total of 334 yards. Going to run the ball. Run the ball. Let's do it. Let's get a first down. Oh, that's terrible blocking. The guard literally blocked no one. We had two guys to deal with. We skip our one. Can't break both tackles there. That's a shame. That is a real shame. <sighs> Find out what we want to do here. Coach wants us to throw it, so pretty sure we got to. I don't think we got a choice. Watch for a bit late on this play, if not holding across the middle. We step up, it's a bad throw. How is that under pressure? Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Oh, okay. I see. I, he, he swung move right as I was throwing it. And he hits us right after the throw. Alright, we're cutting the football. Perfect time punt. Let's get our guys back here. Ooh, he's got to get a return here. Tyree Hill. Not a great return for him. 28-23. Forced to punt. Can't get anything going on that drive. Remember, the run game is still a thing. Don't let them run it on us. It's not what we want. Oh, damn. Wow. I mean, we, we struck at it. We hit him with a hit stick. And he's, a, he's not a, a high carry back. It's in the rain as well. They don't drop balls. and Nothing, nothing happens to these guys back. Three-yard game by Logan. It's a good game for him. He's a six-foot-five receiver. We're going to go man coverage with two people deep here. I don't think that it'll be a run. I could be wrong. It's not a run. We are correct. And unbelievable. He almost busts it. Luckily, the broken tackle animation didn't give him forward momentum or... I think we'd still be looking to find out where Tyreek Hill was. Um, third and inches here. It's a situation where I'm pretty certain they'll go for it on fourth. So, and it doesn't matter because they get maybe the easiest run ever. Why, why is Devin Beaching breaking multiple tackles? Like, what is, what is going on here? He's a back that almost never is going to break a tackle in real life. Trying to strip the ball here with everything we have. Three-yard game. I guess the the fatigue does not matter to Devin Etain, man. That guy is as solid as a rock. We do a good job of covering the running back with Tavai. I wanted to try to make him throw that to him so that we could lurk it, but he didn't. Good job by uh, old man. And the thing just went black. I got to pause it because I cannot allow them to hike this one. How is that a touchdown? How is that wide open? Where did our cover three just go? What happened? Okay, so they're going for it here. They have a one point which means they're trying to make it two. I don't I don't understand what just happened there, but okay. Okay, three minutes to go. Let's see what we're gonna be down by when we get the ball back. Bro, we have a spy! Come on, bro. I put a spy on the field just for that reason, and he watches Tua running in the end zone. 
He's not fast, bro. Like an 84 speed. Slower than my linebacker. What is happening? Three point lead for the Dolphins. The Patriots ready to get the football back. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. All right, coach does not want to run it. It's very unfortunate for me. We do have the option to audible out of a pass into a run. But I'd rather not do that right now. Step out of bounds there. Good job. Russo has been a definite factor in this game. The run game is apparently back on the menu. Bro, why is our left guard not blocking? He went into the hole, turned, and ran the other way. What in the hell just happened right there? I don't know who our left guard is, but we are certainly going to buy the new one in free agency. And that is the result of that play. Stuck on the offensive line. We did not I'm going for it. I understand that we can punt it and get the ball back potentially. I don't believe in my defense like that. And we throw it into outer space. Alright, so the goal has to be to force the field goal, get the ball back, try to win the game. They're going to be running. We understand that they're going to be running. I'm going to anticipate all runs from here. Good job right there by our defense. Middle Brooks gets the pressure. They get the big time TFL there. They're going to be letting it go to the two minute warning. I don't know if this is going to be a run. I'm not going to set up like it's a run, I don't think. Second and 13, I would anticipate maybe they, maybe they throw it here. Maybe they throw it here. They've got a second down now as but, they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Again, it's A-Champ. Third and inches for a -champ. I'm not going to waste timeouts yet because I think there's a high possibility that they pick up this first down. I'm pretty certain that this will be a run. So we're going to stack the box. I'm going to take a safety, and what's the call? Oh. My. God. A first down given by John Franklin Meyer because Tommy doesn't know where to line up. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Going to have to start using our timeouts here, I believe. The rain is coming down like no tomorrow at this point. After this play, I'll start using timeouts. I don't want to use them too early because I want them to have to kick a field goal and then give us the ball back. So I'm good with letting it run right now, but we're going to start assuming we have a good down here. We're going to start calling timeouts after this. Okay. I'm out. Not a great down right there for us, but we're going to have to live with it. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. On second down, a run by A. God. We can't beat the Dolphins. From the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. That's all it is, man. We can't beat, can't beat the Dolphins. I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. I don't know, man. Losing the game is one thing. I don't, I don't know what we could have did different there. I obviously, looking back at it, I don't know. I don't know what we should have done different. Tough one. Tough one to swallow right there. I don't know, guys. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what the score was in Atlanta. 
The Falcons beat the 49ers 28-17. So we are ready to see who we're playing this week. <sighs> playing the Colts, Anthony Richards and Jonathan Taylor. That'll be next episode for you guys. Don't break nothing, man. We're out.